I have a one Dr. Nemechek here. Uh, I want to break down this paper for you because um, it's pretty important at a practical level for everybody. Now, you wouldn't guess that if you were looking at the title, Comparison of the Effects of Monosaturated Fatty Acids and Polyunsaturated Fatty Acids on the Lipotoxicity of Islets. Yawn, right? Okay. Now, what this means is we're going to compare the effects of oleic acid that's in olive oil and the polyunsaturated fatty acids in fish oil on how they can prevent the islet cells of your pancreas, which make insulin, prevent them from dying. Okay, so actually pretty important. Now, what we're learning is that in the food supply, here PA means palmitic acid. And if you look at your packaged food you buy, there's lots of palmitic acid out there. It is an artificial shortener, okay? And uh, they use it in all sorts of products. It's in, uh, it's very high concentration in uh, uh, animal meats, in particular beef. And look at here. So I'll explain this. This is how long a pancreas cell will live. So here's the control. That's a normal cell culture with pancreas uh, islet cells, so the cells that make insulin. And um, so you see that's one. Now, you start giving these, incre these are increasing concentrations of palmitic acid. And look, how much shorter. So this cell dies much, much sooner than it should. Here, this is how long a pancreas cell should live. Look, it dies much sooner. Now, there's another fatty acid that you get in animal meats called steric acid. And uh, you can see you get kind of, here's now normal without steric acid. And as the concentration of steric acid increases, uh, that goes down. Now, there's much less of this in the food supply than this, okay? This comes in natural foods. This is added to all your, all your uh, processed packaged foods. Now, as an example, another example, if we look down here, if I get this thing to move, okay. OA is oleic acid, super high concentration in olive oil. So again, this is how long your pancreas islet cells will live. And when you have increasing concentrations of oleic acid, it doesn't harm them. Look, it actually may even improve it. Looks a little higher there. It's not significant, but certainly doesn't make anything worse, all right? Now, let's go to the next slide. What's really important is, will olive oil and fish oil protect you? So here's vehicle, meaning you know how they set the, the plates up. You ignore that. Now, here is your palmitic acid. So you have this dramatic reduction in lifespan, okay, when you're getting processed food. Processed food kill cells in your pancreas, okay? The cells that make insulin. Now, that's what P is, P-O-A. So this is, you get junk food, but you're getting olive oil in. That's what the olive oil gives you, oleic acid. Look at that. Look at the lifespan difference. It is protective. Here, EPA, DHA, those are the two individual uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids in fish oil. So these two are, so you got pee, you're eating junk food, and you're still getting your fish oil. Look how much longer you live. This equates to a healthier pancreas. This equates to less likely to get diabetes or to have more controllable diabetes. All right? This is junk food. This is your pancreas on junk food. So it's critical. Now, with your olive oil, you need, all adults, you need at least 30 ml. So that's two tablespoons a day. You can spread it on your food. You can put it in your coffee. You can just take a straight shot every day. And it needs to be COOC certified if you want to make sure you're getting the real deal. There's a lot of low quality and slash fraud or near fraudulent olive oil on the market. This, the California growers that it's not just California. It's got to be COOC certification. They have to send their oil every year to a special lab up at UC Davis. 
They run about eight different tests on it to prove it's legit. There's no other certification like that, okay? And then you want to have some high quality fish oils. If you go to nimacheckprotocol.com, we got both there for you, okay? You can source your own or you can just make it simple and get some. And these will both not only protect your pancreas, these are going to lower your risk of having the inflammation uh, in heart disease, having strokes, develop a hypertension, and the inflammation will be reduced uh, that is driving a lot of cancers. So it's just a very, very simple way to protect yourself from junk food. All right? Okay. Uh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button if you want to get more of this. And if you want to pick up some of the fish oil and olive oil, we've got it at nimacheckprotocol.com. Take care. Bye.